Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Jim. Brock, what qualities do you look for in a good general contractor or subcontractor? You know, that's a great question, Jim. Um, let's go with subcontractor first. You know, actually, both of these fit. You know, the first thing that I look for is trust. You know, quality, safety, um, us knowing each other's expectations. If I'm hiring a good subcontractor, you know, I need to be able to know they're going to do the same type of work that I was expected to be able to do because they're representing your company. You know, and that turns, uh, growing up in this industry, my father's company, we work for a lot of uh, custom home building companies. I've, I've worked in my professional career for several custom home building companies, and the same thing comes up, right? It's about trust. It's about knowing that you're gonna go in and do the best job and represent them. And then beyond that, it's about you know building that relationship and knowing the expectations of cost for that job because uh, if we're working as a subcontractor and we're working for you know a custom home builder they have a budget and uh, our industry is basically designed water wells in the the midwest and many places in the country as you know three four percent of a total new home cost and so as we look at what it should cost and the equipment we gotta we gotta share that expectations with our general contractor, with our uh, our subs, you know, it's it's about having that that good reciprocal relationship of talking back and forth, good communication on what needs to happen, how it's going to happen. Because when we're drilling, again, even though we have the best logs and we have the best expectations, Mother Nature is going to dictate some of those situations. So it's got to be that mutual trust that we have to have, and knowing that we're going to have a good potable water well when we're done. And knowing that they're happy and we get to continue, you know, drilling more wells for them or they get to continue doing electrical work or, uh, you know, directional work. There's just so many things, you know, we're really good at many aspects of the industry, but there's stuff that we still have to bring people in on and we got to trust that they're good. So uh, for me, uh, one of my good friends is a, a custom home builder, Cam Fox, and he he asks all the time, you know, Brock, what is it going to take to get this well done? And, you know, I'm working in the southern United States right now. And I go, you know, there's some great companies in your area. You know, just ask the right questions. Make sure you have a good contract. Look at the logs. Make sure there's that expectations in Michigan where he's at. You have to have a water well before you can get the building permit. So, you know, that's one nice aspect. Instead of stepping in on that, you know, $850,000 home that can only get one to three gallons a minute. But then we come up with great alternatives. So, again, it's that relationship of trust and thinking uh, outside the box and how we're going to do it. It's uh, Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody is home safe. You know, we still have emergency calls and we have to have good men and women going out in the field and uh, operating safely during these holidays. And uh, the last thing I want to say, you know, Dave Bowers has an excellent article right now on mental health in our industry. And with us going into this holiday weekend um, where we've been advised to stay home and not have big gatherings, you know, this is supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year. And uh, it's hard, right? Because now we're social distancing. We're, uh, we're staying within one family unit instead of getting together. And that's, we work hard all year to get to this point to have Thanksgiving and the uh, Christmas holidays and Hanukkah and all these situations so that we can, you know, wrap the year out with uh, just joy and happiness. And now we're slowing down on that. So it's important to make sure we're looking at our people and making sure that they're, uh, they're in a good emotional spot. Uh, we're a rough and tough industry, but it doesn't hurt for us to say, how's it going? What can we do to help you? You know, um, just be cognizant of your people out there, leaders. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks. Mm -hmm.